Uh, we just got a crane sponsored for the for uh, for the lifting out the engines on Friday, and it'll be really good. We got a good deal, and it's it's going good. If refit's coming exactly where we're going now. Tuesday, 22nd January, just after lunch. Earth and Tino are about to do some big works in the engine room. Adam. Adam. Hi. Kevin. Kevin, we talked about. That's right. Over yeah. and over again. Yeah, nice to meet you, finally. Hi, Adam. Hi, Martin. Nice to meet you. So this is uh, Fuente Livania, the best water of Spain, and uh, and I'm drinking uh, water uh, to be uh, more uh, powerful. So this is uh, good water. Oh uh, wait. Where's the beach? Over that way, I believe. <laughs> to the Vulcan shipyards for giving us a bit of help and starting up a little bit. Being a clean Kiwi. Engine or uniform? This is our shiny, lovely new engine, courtesy of Cummins and ZF for the gearboxes. The, the engines I've been dealing with, they're just old and tired, and it's so nice to see a just shiny new one, you know, it's very exciting. It's ready to go, ready to be installed. These are the prop shafts, start the port. They're getting sent off to um, be tested to make sure that they're uh, not bent or anything like that, because uh, that can cause vibration on the engines and uh, bearings and everything. So um, our local friend here, Javier, is uh, taking them off to a uh, shop to get them uh, put on a lathe, spin them around, and check how much uh, wobble there is on them. We're talking about aligning the engine to the shafts, which is really quite it's crit crucial to, to getting good speed and to getting no vibration, not, not shaking the boat and the crew to bits. Half a millimetre could go wrong, and then that's it, we've got it wrong. If you have a uh, half a millimetre out, you will, you will have... <laughs> Only works. <laughs> that's it, game over. Put it in a museum. Mm-hmm. <laughs>